everyone, welcome to another episode of Elevenses with MZ, an arts and crafts show that is sure to awaken your right brain. Today we're talking about coloring pages. The adult coloring book trend has really taken the entire world by storm. And we are seeing lots and lots of wonderful coloring pages that you can find online, you can print and color. Uh, coloring books that you can pick up at pretty much any bookstore these days even the dollar store has some wonderful ones so um, apart from using the coloring pages as like um, art therapy and taking some time out for yourselves you can also actually bring the pages outside of the book and use them in craft projects around you and that's just what I wanted to talk about today so as you can see I have two coloring pages here uh, and I just want to give you a few ideas as to how you can use them. You can cut these out and use them in your bullet journals for spreads, uh, in your planners. Once you've colored them, you can just cut them out and glue them down uh, there. Uh, you can use these as embellishments on scrapbook pages, on art journals. Um, you can use them to create beautiful cards. Uh, so supposing you were to paint this cupcake over here, uh, the macaroons over here and then one more cupcake you could put them on a card if you just cut them out you could put them on um, a card base which is like craft card and they would look really really nice so like i said again lots of ideas we're just going to start um, painting a few of these cupcakes and in my next episode i'm going to show you how i'm going to use these cupcakes um, i'm using some very inexpensive art supplies I found that this $5 watercolor palette from Joann's, and I think you can find them at Walmart too now, they work wonderfully well, really, really well. I use them to paint um, a lot. So I've used these watercolors um, to paint faces, uh, to create backgrounds for my art journals, and pretty much everything that I've used them for, they've, they've done a great job, so no complaints. And I mean, for $5, this is a really good palette. It has a lot of colors. And the watercolor look is just so in these days. So if you want to try it out and see if, you know, it's something that you would like to pursue before you invest in something more expensive, then I'd say definitely go for it. Mm. So I want to get a few of these done and I'm using a, a Prima brush, it's a water brush again no complaints with this either I like the way it works. Depending on the kind of paper that you're working with, the colors might become slightly dull. because obviously watercolors will always work best on watercolor paper. So if, you're, um, if you have like printable coloring pages that you've bought online and you want to print out, I would suggest using good quality watercolor paper. Because even though the paints, you can you know, um, get away with using cheaper paints, uh, with the paper, it doesn't quite work like that. it's much better to have um, good quality paper. And I usually like um, to create some sort of a layered look in most of my art. So I'm just gonna show you how I do that. because I am um, a mixed media artist really. And so now what I'm gonna pull in are these Stabilo watercolor pencils. 
and I really, really love them. Um, they just help me add a little more color where I feel I need it. Of course, the best thing to do is to let these dry first and then go in with the watercolor pencils. You can use them just as pencils or um, you can go ahead and add some water. But what these let me do is just add some more gradation, some more depth. to my coloring and at times if I feel like things are not bright enough I always go in and make them a little brighter using the pencils and as you can see the um, sketches really do come the drawings really do come to life and again as you can see I'm not doing anything super technical it's just going over stuff with the same color family. Then we we'll go and and that's it. So, supposing you spent a lot of time and you have um, colored entire pages in your coloring books but you really do want to use them somewhere uh, like i said there are so many places that you can your art journal pages or um your planners uh, or you can make handmade cards using these as embellishments so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to go in and cut this out And this makes a super cute embellishment again like I said to put in your planner or your bullet journals or to create a little card and the fun thing is that you've spent time creating this now you can share it with other people or you can you know look at it again in your planners um, or create an art journal page with it so you don't just banish them And keep them within the pages of a coloring book that you might never again look at uh, in my next episode I'm going to show you what I actually do with these little embellishments but before we go I just want to show you one other thing that you can do with these so when you use them as embellishments there are no rules that say that you can't bring in other stuff and like I told you I'm a big mixed media artist and I love working with different kinds of things so you can go ahead and you can put um, little embellishments on like that like these little gold um, dots or you can use sequins or other yummy things to bring these embellishments to life so this is a fun way that you can use coloring pages i hope you enjoyed this episode if you did please do give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel i will see you next time bye bye